Hi, I'm Ema McDonough and I'm a child and adolescent psychotherapist and play therapist. I'm also chairperson of the Irish Association for Play Therapy and Psychotherapy and I'm a social care worker. I was delighted to be asked to be part of this series of videos showing our appreciation and support for the social care workers in Ireland and worldwide who are doing such valuable work with the most vulnerable in our communities at this time. When we began to think about what we could share that would help and support social care workers, a technique I commonly use called a glitter bottle was what sprung to mind for me. It's a grounding and calming technique that I find very successful with people of all ages. It's a simple intervention. I have one here that I will shake and show you. So the glitter swirls and you can see it move and there's a rhythmic motion to it. And in the glitter bottle and in the rhythmic motion, all you would be asking somebody to do is to watch it. Some people use it as a focus point for mindfulness activities and for breathing activities, but you don't have to give any more of a prompt other than to watch the glitter settle. In doing this, watching the rhythm of the glitter moving and watching it settle, it stills our nervous system and it calms our nervous system so that we can calm our own thoughts and we can find the settle and the rest within ourselves. So in making this glitter bottle, what you need is a clear plastic bottle. This is an empty Vitae bottle that I use. Um, anything that has clear plastic that has a little bit of thickness with it because you're going to be adding warm water so you don't want it to melt in any way. So I have my bottle. I have clear glue gel. This is the one I use. I get it in Mr. Price but any clear glue can be used. I just empty it into the bottle like so. Um, the clear glue slows the motion of the glitter so that it doesn't just float up and sink down straight away and it means that it will circle around the bottle and you have something to watch as it moves. I use the gel one because it just slows it further than um, clear glue itself. So when that is in the bottle I ask the people I'm working with or if I'm doing it for myself I pick some glitters so any glitter will do for this. I use little sachets of glitter like this that I find to be quite useful. So I ask them to pick a number of different colours for the different thoughts or the different worries that they have in their head. So as we put them in, we pick a colour, we identify a worry to go with it. So right now for some people that worry might be something like, um, I'm worried that a loved one of mine is going to get COVID-19, going to get coronavirus and get sick. So then we put in as much or as little of that worry that we have in our head. So for some people, that could be a very big worry and they need to put all the glitter in. For other people, it might be a worry that comes and goes, so they might not put as much in. Another worry they might have is, I'm worried about what might happen if the people who take care of me get sick. And that could be another big worry and all the glitter goes in there. So we're simply emptying it in on top of the clear glue at this moment. We pick another glitter, another worry is, I haven't seen my friends, I worry about when I'm going to get to see them again. And another worry could be, I worry about when this will all be over. I wonder about, I worry about when I can get back to normal. And we empty all of that one in again. So we've emptied the worries into the glitter. At this point, I use glitter stars. So they come in little tubes like this, and just little star shaped glitter, um, glitter stars. <laughs> um, so with these, I ask the people to think about who they have in their life or the things they have in their life that support them or help them to feel calm or help them to feel good. And again, we put in as little or as much. So for this one, it might be, um, I have my best friend. So I put a lot in because my best friend's always there for me. I might pick another color and I might say that this is playing music. I feel really good when I play music. So I'm gonna put a lot in there. Then maybe, um, being outdoors, going for a walk. That makes me feel good sometimes, so I'm gonna put half of that one in. I'm not gonna put it all in. And maybe another thing that helps you feel good could be journaling. I'm gonna put it in. So the stars as we put them in can be people in your life, or for some, sometimes there aren't many people in our lives that we can identify straight away as supports and strengths. So it can also be things that make us feel good. So at this point, we have the clear glue, we have the glitter, and we have the glitter stars in the bottle. I'm now going to take some warm water. So this would be pre-boiled and cooled down so that it isn't fully boiling water, but it's still quite hot. 
So I'm pouring this into the bottle and I'm going to pour it right up to the neck. Okay, I stop at that point. I get my lid. I make sure it's on securely again because I'm going to shake, 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 shake. And the first shake you do for this bottle has to be a really good and a really strong shake to mix it all up and to make sure that no lumps form and there's no clogging. So you can see from the movement of this one, you can see it shake, you can see it move along. You can see the glitter and the stars in it. And then we start to talk about it. So we talk about as we see the glitter move and how fast and how swirly that can be. And wondering, is that like the thoughts in our heads? Is this what happens when they take over and they, ra they race around? And it seems to be pretty much all you can see. But then we remember the stars and sometimes we see the stars down the bottom or we might see them floating in between. But we have to look extra hard for the stairs. They never go away, they are in the bottle for us. But we might have to seek them out more when it come, when it's the time that the thoughts are busy and whirly. Our stairs aren't as obvious for us, but they are there. So this grounding technique uses your worries. It put your, puts your worries in, they swirl around, they move around, but they settle and they calm. But we've also put your strengths in, we've put the things in that support you, we've put the things in that help you to feel good so that you can use that as a counterbalance in times when you add the worries are filling our heads or the thoughts start to move around too fast. It's a reminder that the good is still there too, it's just waiting for us. So I hope you found that this could be a technique that you could use, I hope it's something that you consider using for yourself. They're brilliant at night time to use, just to shake and leave on your bedside locker, shake or have them somewhere that you're going to be sitting down for a little while, watching the motion of it, watching them still, really calms our nervous system and helps us to regulate again. I'd like to say thank you to everybody for the work that you're doing right now.